Hi and welcome. This is just a uh, very quick tip to show you how to pin documents to the Office button or the Start menu. So by default, when you click the Office button right here, you're going to see a list of recent documents. And every time you open up Excel, it's going to add another the, the document you just opened up to the very top of this list and push everything down. Now if you have one specific workbook that you always like to open, but you want a quicker way to do it, you don't want to have to go through your file system, what you can do is find it in your recent document list here and click the little pin. And when you click that pin, it's, it's like it sticks into a uh, cork board. So you can see it's green and it looks a little bit different right now, right there. So what that means is that no matter how many other documents you open, this input formulas and arrays into cells will always stay pinned to the recent document menu, even if you don't open it for a month. So that's a neat little tip to um, help you access your most used files very quickly. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to change the number of these recent documents to list. Because you can make it so that none of them appear here or as many as you want <coughs> to fill the entire list. So to do that, click Excel Options. You'll get this menu. Go to the Advanced tab. Scroll down to where it says Display. And you'll see it show this number of recent documents. So I have it set, set to show the last 10 documents that I've used. And you can set it to 0 if you don't want any documents to show up. or you know, a large number. So if I set it to zero, go back here, you'll see that nothing appears there, so no one can see the last documents I opened. Change it back, Excel Options, Advanced, Display, and put it back to 10. And now, even though nothing's here, the next 10 documents I open will appear in this list. So that's how you can pin recent documents to this Start menu or the Office button menu. And that's how you can change the number of recent documents you'd like to display. If you'd like to get more, as well as free macros and other video tutorials, head over to teachexcel.com.